Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey seeks to create a seamless experience with no constructing narrative or obvious systems in play. You live and die and survive as our ancestors did, with incredible difficulty and a lot of luck. When everything works out though, in this game, you really do feel like this is a revolutionary way to experience a video game. But when it doesn't, it feels like you're stuck in a tedious, endless loop of these systems. In Ancestors, you play as early Homo sapiens starting the evolutionary life cycle 10 million years from today. These humanoids hunt and live in packs. The game gives you the ability to play as all members of this clan as you learn and eventually evolve. The cursory objective really is to evolve faster than what historically happened. You do this practically by having kids and learning a few things about the world and then moving that timeline forward. You can do this in a micro setting with smaller 15 year jumps into the future, your kids now being adults, and then in a macro setting, millions of years in the future with major adaptations added to your species based on the things you've found and the things you've done. This means that initially, there is only trial and error. You literally have to figure out how to survive seemingly how our ancestors did by hitting rocks together again and again and hoping to God something will work. When you do explore this vast complex world, this method of gameplay really sings. You feel the fear of the unknown with the real danger lurking around every corner. Is it really worth getting a slice from a lion that you don't know how to heal just so that maybe you found out how to sharpen a stick? Practically though, as much as this game does try to transcend the classic column response we're so conditioned to when playing games, it's still a game. So when you figure out what these core systems are, things get tedious. Basically, you need in the game to progress four kids. You move up a generation and you're able then to take all of the experience or knowledge from the generation that preceded it, literally from their bones. When you do that, you can then essentially just keep rinsing and repeating as long as you have enough females. You couple that with a 30 second montage every damn time a beautiful new life is created, things can get boring fast. And unfortunately, especially early on, the game wants you to do this. It doesn't really make sense to just keep playing and expanding because all of that knowledge you accumulate can only go to the next generation if you have the kids to bring it. And in my experiences, I was never really able to get more than six, maybe seven kids. And with a neural network that has 30 or 40 nodes for you to explore and to actually learn, it doesn't make a lot of sense. After a while of using this method, it kind of takes the magic out of the central conceit of the game. The experience though, ultimately, is very personal. My experience is unique in Ancestors because of the method I chose to traverse the eons. After a dozen or so hours of really hard slogging through a lot of trial and error, my band of pre-humans now are lethal, all armed with double spears, killing everything in our path and creating more advanced tools. When this happens, it feels like I've found the holy grail of survival games, one where the narrative is really truly created by my choices. So often video games of this ilk try to make a narrative work based on gameplay. This game does that by beating you over the head with it. <laughs> Ultimately, Ancestors does achieve that initial promise of providing an experience that is yours without telling you what to do. But as a result, sometimes it's going to be tedious, but it's also an incredibly unique and rewarding experience.